Yes. Oh! Missed buddy on his no. Oh, look at that. that wasn't. Oh. Hit as hard as you want to get hit. Hollywood has done a fantastic job of convincing women that they can beat men in fights. For sure some can, but more times than not, this is how it ends. There's a different physicality. One of the most popular videos in recent history is Claresha Shields getting knocked down by a pro boxer. Yes. Oh! Damn! Mm. I actually did a complete video on this sparring session. After this, she claimed that the pro boxer cut the padding out of the glove and even threatened him with a knife. The gloves and the padding has zero to no padding. That's what it's about. You think I got a problem with getting dropped? And yes, I ran to my car and I grabbed my knife and I was going to cut Derek Santos. How about a man versus a woman in a karate match? Mm. Oh, and Beth oh. is really overmatched. Best kick to the head, he missed. One to the stomach, right hand. Was that a deliberate miss, buddy, on his No. Body? Oh, look at that. That wasn't. Oh, well. Well, she's hurt. Well, she took a terrific shot. Good girl. Try. Now, don't get me wrong. There's no doubt that you have to give tremendous respect to a woman who's willing to step in there and put it on the line against a man. Let's take a look at Vero Nika sparring with R. Torte at Tiger Muay Thai. She turned that into a nice little stretch. That was a beautiful calf kick that actually set her on her ass. First of all, Vero Nika is incredibly talented. Let's give her her flowers. But obviously, if you look closely at that sparring session, you can see that the man was pulling his punches, not fully leaning into the power. Women bring a lot of ferocity to their sparring sessions. If you don't believe me, check this out. <laughs> Now, she started that sparring session off incredibly aggressive, and one of the old adages that we have is, hit as hard as you want to get hit. That's good. Now, this guy wasn't done beating up on one woman. They're going to bring in another. You could hear the actual teacher saying she's testing. Take it slow is what he's insinuating. Now, as I said at the beginning of this video, there are circumstances where the women actually do fairly well against men, depending on the skill level. It's obvious that the man in blue has very little skill. Now it's time for the lady to pick up the pace. And he quits, ladies and gentlemen. Obviously, there's biological advantages when it comes to fighting for men, especially when the skill level is even.
put it with the toes too. Damn. A lot of the times, girls that you spar with will think they can go a lot harder because you're bigger, more experienced, etc. But like I said previously in this video, only hit as hard as you wish to get hit back. <laughs> He didn't like that. She got hit with that hook and was like, leave a like for the video. Damn. Now what happens when a karate girl goes up against a street fighter? All right, obviously she's bouncing around like a kangaroo, similar to a kangaroo, a marsupial type movement. It's hard to do karate from your back. Oh, kicked him right in his face. <laughs> he hit it with that old school kitchen slap. That the den is not ready slap. That's really what that was. Where were you? Where were you? Where were you? That's really what <laughs> this guy has zero skill, but she's doing a lot better than I anticipated to be quite honest with you. She's holding it down with a distance control. Now, as I said, in situations where the woman is skilled, it can definitely help even out the playing field a bit. Nobody's confused about the fact that men have an upper hand when it comes to combat, but there's no doubt that if a woman trains hard and goes against a man who is less skilled and of comparable size, she can do very well. I go live on this channel every single week. If you're interested in catching a live stream, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications. Make sure you check out the pinned comment down below. That'll give you access to my Discord. That URL does expire, so get on that now and it'll also give you access to my mailing list. We focus on dedication and discipline, which a lot of people say is really helping them out. Strangle Gang, stay strong, and I'll see you in the next one.